Like, we're on this week's episode of Music Motorbikes, now we're out about today, aren't we? We're not in the workshop no. today. Where are we today then? This what are we is, doing? This is very special. We're, is it? Yeah, we're at, uh, More special than me. Yeah, you're very special. Yeah. Um, we're at uh, One to One Bike Training. Um, they're headquarters, really, I suppose you'd call it. Well, you call it a shop, wouldn't you? Yeah. You'd call it a shop. Yeah, what do they do here then? They train people. Do they? To ride motorbikes, yeah. Stop. It's Ask who I'm going to do my training. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do my training with, hopefully. A oh, bike training? Yeah. All oh, right, yeah, because they've been training a bit of a special rider, haven't they? Yeah. Don't give it away. No, Don't give it no. away. Should yeah. we go in? It's pretty good. We're going. Go in and yeah. have a chat. Yeah. All right, follow us in. Brilliant. something very special lined up today we've got a very special guest Ryan Vickers and we've got ATO as well <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're even more special <laughs> very special so we're just gonna have a little chat about you know how you all started and where you're going and uh, you're just well, I'm not, going, I'm not going to Spain on Sunday, I know that. No, no, everyone's <laughs> going to Spain on Sunday. Right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm going to fill these suitcases, I'm going with you. <laughs> yeah. How it all sort of started, you know, your first experiences and how it all, all, all got, got going and your first races and your first bikes, use your sort of thing, really. Let's so, start with these guys, with yeah, because their stories yeah, well, might be a bit longer, they're a bit older than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 You might need to replace them batteries already. <laughs> well, yeah, they're talking about yeah. being so bent and yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, no, we'll get to my ear in yeah. about three months. <laughs> <laughs> right, should we start with ladies first then? The dad's favourite. Yes, yes, absolutely. So how did you start with bikes? How was this all, all, all um, came I was, about? Really? I was brought up with them, to be fair. Um, my dad rode, my uncle rode, my granddad rode, and having cousins which were boys, I kind of just got dragged into that realm and have rode bikes since I was a wee nipper. All right, so what was your first experience of was it uh, the honda across the honda moped oh, the i had a c90 we took all the body work off yeah was, absolutely yeah, up yeah. and down a field yeah, no helmet no <laughs> crashed it a couple of times maybe <laughs> you mr c me when well, i started again really young again Farmers fields, um, the old fizzies. Oh, fizzies! Yeah, yeah. We used to ride them across the fields, blow them up, throw them in the hedge, go and get another one. <laughs> uh, I wish I kept them. I've even been back to the hedges to see yeah. if they're still in there because <laughs> they're worth some money. I uh, did that. Obviously, got my license when I was seventeen and grew up with bikes. Obviously, and then decided to quit my job and start a motorcycle training school up 20 years and ago. And what's the motorcycle, motorcycle training um, company called? Uh, one to one motorbike training. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, if, you, if, you, if you can't <laughs> see it, it's, it's here, yeah? It? Yeah. And we've been running that company 20 years now. Oh, good. What about you, Ron? Where did it all start for you? Same again, fields and a... Yeah, exactly. I had a little Italjet 39cc, I think it was. Um, <laughs> when I was uh, started riding, when I was three and a half years old. So that's um, where I started. That was, that was last week. Last yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> only a few months month. away. Um, and now I'm riding a superbike. No. <laughs> Progression's a bit, a bit slower than that. But yeah, my dad was always into bikes and yeah. stuff. And I guess that's where it's come from because not really anyone else in my family has been into it. So yeah, that's um, where I started on fields and then went into motocross I was doing off-road for years until I was about 16 years old and then made the full transition over to the to the tarmac right okay so first race last year wasn't it last year you've you've done track days and stuff like that yeah yeah I've done done shed loads of track days yeah I think my first track day was probably about 2017 and then my first race was last year at Snetterton so Mm. yeah and that it's a to see yes uh, first race oh first race, god I won't ask about positions <laughs> <laughs> you can't remember no. it's too far back um, no my first race uh, motorbikes proper racing was back in the classics so 
um, 2010 is when I really started that is when I could actually afford to <laughs> actually race a motorbike for the first time yeah. um, and the classics which were up above our head uh, got newcomer of the year in the first yeah. year in 2010 um, 2013 won the British Historic and 2014 come third in CRMC and then I found out they're really expensive yeah. to keep running. <laughs> I keep blowing them up. <laughs> and when the engines are 10 and 11 grand yeah. a pop for a normal yeah. man, it seems quite a lot of money. It's, 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 it's money all the way. Same with cars. Yeah. So, it's, just, it's, just ast- it's just a money pit. Yeah, so I, yeah. Start, I stopped racing them and quit racing for a little bit. And then we were looking at it last year again because my nephew wanted to start racing. So we thought it was a good idea to... Uh, come out of retirement and uh, mm. have another go. We so go there and watch him. Yeah. Now, so it? last, no, year, last year we started all. again, but now because I'm of a more mature age, mature. I... Mature? Yeah, a more mature <laughs> age. Older. Nice way to put yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> an, old, an older generation. Yeah. I, could, uh, I could enter uh, what is called a veteran's class or as Daniel liked to call it, a retirement old class. class. <laughs> yeah. So we did, we did that last year. <laughs> did, did fairly well. Won some races. Got a few podiums, yeah. which you, you can have a look in the trophy cabinet yeah. later and ended up finishing third in the championship would have been second but I won't want to talk about that no. really I'll, I'll I show you that I, later I, I, I lost <laughs> the championship with the clutch going yeah you're on the last not last lap of Snetterton yeah, yeah well mine might yeah. have been the last lap yeah. and the second from last corner of the last race yeah. and yeah. I threw second away in the championship <laughs> but hey yeah. we, we won't secure. talk about it but we, we have footage yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm wrong was it the super stocks for you was that the first sort of major race you did was that the first race you did or not no it was a uh, race at seven years old when I was on motocross oh, really? um, um, yeah, so when I first started on motocross, first race was seven years old. I actually won my first ever race meeting and then um, yeah. went on from there and did loads of motocross and stuff, loads of championships. And then um, I did a tiny bit of road racing when I was 12 years old. So I did a bit of a Aprilia Super Teens, did my license and stuff. So that was my first tarmac race. And then um, then went back away to motocross and then came back into the tarmac side when it was like 2015, late end of 2015. I so, went back on to a yeah, CB500. Right, right, and what actually got you away from the motocross was it that you just instantly felt more at home with the, the injuries. In injuries more than anything yeah <laughs> yeah it's done it I've yeah been caught behind between the rear swing arm and the wheel yeah and dad just got a pair of bolt cutters and cut the wheel off i said take just don't bolt it i'm bowing <laughs> no that was it and then it was, after that it was motocross was just gone yeah it's I tough but you know it did, did my knee yeah. twice acl when i was young and yeah. then that messed it up really to be yeah. honest that put a big old it now, no it? not at no. all I think it's good because I didn't actually snap the ligament I just stretched it yeah. I think as I got older because I did it when I was about 12 years old 10 about well, 10 years old probably um, and I've grown into it again I think now because I wasn't yeah. fully grown then so I think I was quite lucky really so then up until and then obviously it went to the super stocks and I suppose in 17 didn't yeah it? Uh, yeah tw- 2017 was the first year yeah, yeah. yeah. eight overall um, I'm not actually too sure to be honest. I have no idea. Someone's no. done their research. <laughs> yeah. See it anyway. Well, yeah, God knows. The, the biggest thing for me was the last three rounds. We got a third, which was my first podium. And then we got a second and a second from last. The difference as well. And then podium, yeah, we just... won the last round of the year. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah. On my first year, 600, first year of British Championship. And only second year on the tarmac. So yeah. it was a good end. It was the, the turning point for you. Yeah. And we won every race bar one. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, because it's over five hundred points. That's point. impressive. <laughs> yeah, is that where Lee? Har- uh, is it Lee Hardy? Yeah, then he picked me up for the superbike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so he'd fourth year of racing, I was on the superbike. Yeah. Did one year CB five hundred, two years super, uh, super stock, and then straight into superbike. Yeah. So there's Kawasaki. Yeah, and you went on to um, it was three years with a Kawasaki. Yeah, it, was it one year with a BMW? Yeah, one year with a BMW. Yeah, with Yamaha. Yeah, it's coming into my second <laughs> second year of, of um, Yamaha. You're wrong on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely, definitely not a BMW yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I mean, obviously you had your first sort of test session at Donington, and you finished third again. You know, ahead of Hickey and and and, and Mr. Bridewell and Bridewell and everyone. So. That must be a good, good feeling to go into Spain. Yeah, it's, it is good. Oh, yeah. To be honest, I surprised myself a little bit. I know the bike's not; it's like improved and stuff from last year, really. And it just surprised me that I got up to speed as quick as I did. A lot of the guys, you know, Pete, Tommy, Kyle, everybody. There's not; I don't think there's a single other rider on the grid. Maybe Glenn Irwin um, is the only other rider that's not ridden any bike since. Um, 
since October, really. We haven't been out on a super stock bike, nothing. So I thought it was going to take me a bit getting used to again. But, you know, end of the first session was P3 again, so or P2, I think it was. So it was um, it is really good, quick adapt, adaption back yeah, to the bike. So is really. there still more to come from the bike, you think? Or is it- yeah, slightly, yeah. yeah. We've still got a lot of testing items to go through. We've got another, like, three three or four different variations of rear shock got a different swinging arm yet to try and stuff like that and more on the electronic side of things so it's made a lot of difference it? can do yeah. can do but it's it's more of a it's it's basically it gets over complicated it's only to do with the flex like yeah. the width of it's slightly different and it changes the flex of it to change the, the grip and how much it saves the tire and stuff like that but it's, it's almost like changing a spring and preload on the rear it can do the same effect so, so you get on alright with everybody it's awesome. yeah it's bunch. awesome yeah, yeah great yeah. team got a yeah. great bunch now and the crew chief Dave and Roger Marshall as well rider coach you know a lot of experience around me and you know the whole team in general it's not forgetting early, the team makes hell of a difference oh, if you've yeah. got confidence in team you can do wonders it, you know. and it's the team having trust in you as well that's yeah. a big thing the team trust everything that I'm saying about the bike is, is what it's doing they don't have any disbelief and they Basically, we don't we don't spend a lot of time looking at the data. You know, we don't we don't. It's not a it's not a problem solver. All it is 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 a tool to basically back up what I'm saying. You know, we never we never oh, the data never overrules what I'm saying. No, you've it's, always got to have a lot of data as well, haven't you? You've got you know, if you've got we always found it with cars. If you've got six cars, it's really really helpful. Cause yeah, you can pick certain. Oh, well, at least done this there and that, and you can pick a lot out. Yeah, but. We always used to say, um, stopwatch, tell you, you know. You know. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> right, right, a feel, right, right, a driver feel. Still, a bit of duct tape <laughs> over the speedo and the, <laughs> and the dials and just go. Go, go and ride it. So, uh, TT, have you got any plans for TT? Nah, not no, not at all, no. No? No, not at all. I mean, it's one of them things I've always said that I'd love to go and ride it on like a closed road. I'd love to learn the circuit, but I'd never want to race it. No. I've got too much... Um, I don't know, too much, too much of a competitive side of thing. I don't think I'd be able to adapt to that. Like rein it in. Yeah, <laughs> rein it in. Like Mike, you know, you could stay, never, uh, He wanted to come up with the TT with us. Never you mind, you know, Michael. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, oh, I just no, you can't, mate, because it's just you just it's be phenomenal. flat out. Yeah. Just no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Again, that was same with my nephew started uh, last year with the racing, and we said the same to him because he's talking about doing the roads, and I was like, y- you're Stay on the bike you're first, nowhere yeah. near close yeah, enough no. to be able to all the respect of it. Mm-hmm. You've got to be able to respect them roads and ride within a tolerance, and that's yeah, yeah. It probably comes at age, I should think, doesn't it? So well, yeah, yeah. Well, it hurts. Bloody hurts. I don't know. That's throwing you in a little bit. <laughs> I, was actually, I was actually chatting to Glenn Owen about it at the weekend because he's not going to do the TT again, I don't think. And he said to him, like, why? Like, and it, it's just like he's done it. It's the most amazing thing. Mm. But it's like well, you've got all of this around you and it's like he said there's so many things that can go wrong there's certain parts of that track where you're like curb to curb to curb to curb where there is literally like a fine line and you just point to point to point and he's like it could be a bird it could be a whatever you know a bit of oil that a master hasn't seen exactly. and there is you're completely out of control there's yeah, nothing that you can do no. that is it no. and he said and you, you, 99% of the time that's in your life yeah. pretty much oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, that's not for me either I'm not. <laughs> well because I, I went with my brother one year and we stood by the, ch- the, by the ch- I can't think of the name of the church now and he got all the birds going <whistles> and all of a sudden it's like <whistles> <whistles> <laughs> no, 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 you know, three minutes, uh-huh. but, and it's just like the gun punching out the bloody hell. Yeah. And it is, it's literally, it is the old uh, fashioned, literally a fag paper. Yeah, yeah, it's just no. And at that speed, it's even less, yeah, it's, you know, there's yeah. a, not much you can do at that speed. You know, the, the reaction time, it, there's nothing you can do at that no. speed. That's it. No, no. Something you hit somebody at that speed. Mm. You, you hit a pheasant, you hit, get a pheasant hit you in the head or something like that, it snap your neck, probably, you know. Is bit, there was a few last year as well. Like, yeah. Dean struck two birds, I think, on the senior race, Diffy. and I remember seeing his boot after, and all like the guts were hanging out of his boot and stuff like that. Like, <laughs> oh, nice. So there's, there's nothing. There's nothing left of it, and it hit his screen. He had no screen, and there's another one that hit the side of his fairing. But it's just lucky, you know, yeah. for his wheel or something like that, and went over it. It put you that much out of shape that it could be a lot worse. Yeah, yeah. But, a lot worse. It's all right, you two. 
Yes. Donington this weekend. Yes. Mike is going as well. He is. Which championship yeah. is because you're you're running. You're not doing this. I'm not doing the CBs. CBs. I'm doing the endurance. You're in the CBs, aren't you? I'm doing the the uh, retirement <laughs> class in the CBs. <laughs> the old kids class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the plodders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Mikey's doing the newcomers. Yeah. Well, he's doing all right in that, actually. Well, I'm a proud uncle, CBs. I'm afraid. I'm gushing a bit because <laughs> yeah. I'm proud the fact that he's singing in the championship now, isn't he? He's yeah, singing yeah. in the championship. So you've got to give some tips, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Show it around again. Yeah, yeah. But I've been trying to talk to him about visualisation and stuff like that, uh, which I think he's doing anyway. Did you actually do sort of visualisations? You go through the lap in your head before you go out? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. I think it's more just a preparation going up to the weekend. I just sort of try to build into my week the week before, you know, watching the old races back and stuff like that. And then do a good track walk when we get there. And if there's any points where we're weak or we were weak before, and there's certain points that we've got to improve on, then we. Do you find the track walk really helps? Yeah, for sure, yeah. yeah well, I, I mean, there's a track walk where you just have a wander around with your mates and you're chatting about. I don't know, whatever else, whatever's happened in the Marshall points once upon a time, but <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Like, or, or you can go around and do a proper track yeah, walk. I but to go around on my own. It's not go walk, have a walk around and then I'll go around on a scooter. Yeah. Uh, and then, it, you know, because you get a different as, you know, aspect of it, going mm. a little bit of speed. Um, but yeah, I think it, I think it works. 100%. This is not, yeah. normally me, the ride coach Roger and, and my crew chief Dave, to be fair, that's normally the three that we always walk it. And if it's not, it's definitely me and Roger, yeah. which is the most crucial part, really. So do you find that you always always learn something different every time? Because I always used to, I used to think I'd, I'd find something, no matter how many times you'd walk it, they'd always, you'd always find something, do you? Yeah, I mean, it's probably less and less at this like level, really. I mean, because we're, we're, I know I can guarantee that I can go to Donington within 10 laps I can be yeah, back on the same pace yeah, as what so I was yeah. there a year ago <laughs> I hadn't raced it for 10 years and I got in a car within two laps I was on it and I knew yeah, where I was exactly so I've got references yeah, for every yeah. single corner I've got Sign breaking markers that you'd use for turning or exactly. breaking and it's just yeah you so it's I more of a, just a trend a, yeah <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they got, took the bridge away and the spit <laughs> fire <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it would be nice to have the bridges back it'd yeah. be cool if they put yeah. like the Dunlop yeah. bridge back in or yeah. an imitation or some sort yeah yeah, cracking. Yeah. yeah, no, I like the yeah. circuit. Yeah. yeah, you do, don't you? Yeah, well, apart from the last <laughs> race, the, <laughs> the rest of it was good. Yeah. <laughs> best, yeah. One of the best circuits now has been resurfaced. Yeah, yeah. Resurfaced. It's, it's a long time coming now, has wet, been. In the wet. Oh, it used to be dreadful. Yeah. Yeah, not yeah. not fun. We had a race here in 21, the end of 21, and um, more than half of the race crashed. Uh, luckily, yeah. I stayed on. Yeah. Happy about it. <laughs> it goes about fourth or fifth. Yeah. I finished or something. Go every morning. <laughs> yeah, there was yeah. like 10, 11 people finish and twelve or thirteen crashed. Bloody hell! It was absolutely no. I could have scored points. You could. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it didn't matter. You could go in the pit lane, sit there for ten minutes, have a coffee, yeah. roll back out before the end of the race, and get a point. <laughs> I wish I had actually done that. It would have been a hell of a lot. Less. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It would have been a lot safer. So, Mikey, points make prizes. Prizes. Mm. Mm. He's done all right. Yeah, I think he's doing very well. I'm yeah. very proud of him. Yeah, yeah he's doing yeah. all right. So we we got a little bit more to prove. Obviously, Snetton's not the best circuit for me. Uh, Maybe because I'm carrying a, a slight yeah. bit more timber <laughs> than I, the passenger. I'm <laughs> <laughs> so I, I have equivalent to having Mikey on the back. Yeah, yeah, it's a weight yeah. difference. Yeah, that's right. I mean, can't it's equivalent to having Mikey in the car. You know? <laughs> You've got a nine stone weekly and just yeah. you know, just blitz in it, and you're like, oh, really? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, no, Donington. We're looking forward to the endurance. Is probably going to be hard because uh, <laughs> five set, hours, five hours or seven hundred kilometres. Yeah, so yeah. whichever one comes first, and we've all got to try and stay on it for for that length yeah. of time. So, but you very well at Snetterton. Uh, tell us about Snetterton, by the way. Snetterton was really, really hectic. To be fair, <laughs> I mean, what bike was it you were on? We we were street. on the Street Seven Six Five, and one of our others who's racing with ATO with us is on an R6 and everybody was going out the pit lanes and we are still trying to change wheels because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd all have to share the same bike but they let you you can do it you, that way yeah, you, all right, personal yeah. choice yeah the downside to doing that if he bins it you're in trouble yeah because yeah. yeah. what you do get a push bike yeah. Yeah. And, and where did you finish 
we finished second in that one. Yeah, see? So we yeah. qualified six. And it wasn't out of two either, was it? No. No. <laughs> I think there was eight. <laughs> yeah, no, it's very good. Yeah, yeah so, so we had a... Yeah, yeah no, we did really well with that. Yeah. Um, at one point, we was in first, and we were almost 10 seconds a lap faster in the changeable conditions. Yes. yes. So I mean, it's yeah. finding the conditions, which yeah. really works for me, because I like changeable conditions. Yeah. Cause, I bet uh, Corum was a handful and all, because we had a lot of wind that day, didn't we? It, well, not for me. <laughs> there was, there was, I was say, who are you asking? There was a few people... <laughs> Maybe said that they yeah. found it really windy, and yeah, I was like, babe, "No, I was, <laughs> I was planted." Because uh, it literally had every season in that day: snow, hail, wind, rain. So I turned up in the evening to go out to dinner with my mate Dell, and um, it's like. Like I'd come in, you wouldn't you wouldn't have drove your car without headlights. Put it that way, you would have been getting flashed. And I turned up to sets, and I'm like, that bikes go round. <laughs> These all were still out on the endurance, and I was like, are they, do they have to run light? And I was like, no, it's just like it's just running a bit late. I was like, a bit late. So like, what do they do? Just leave the flag posts on, you know what I mean? Because like honestly, it was getting so dark. I was like, oh my it was like god, an hour, wasn't it? Oh, it was. It was. Uh, well, the rain light was actually really bright. That's how. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I think that dazzled you. Yeah, like, uh, just following someone else's rain light yeah, around. Like. It's like the tinted visor. We are glad we kept them off. It's like, yeah, yeah where's the corner yeah, going? Yeah. Yeah. Quite, quite it did, it did surprise me. I was like, yeah. crikey. That's, um, that's getting a bit late now. I did actually do one, to be fair. I did, I've done a 24 hour on the mini bikes at Free Tech thing yeah. at oh, Teesside. That, that is good. Yeah, that is hard. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's just uh, it's, it's not very enjoyable to be yeah. fair like you just it, it's alright you get going you know 11 o'clock 12 o'clock da, da. I think I was riding I think it was every hour or something like that um, I can't remember now because it was like it was a three or four of us and it was 20 minute stints or something like that 30 minute stints um, yeah it might have been every hour and a half or something I was riding every hour and a half two hours something like that and that's not a lot of time. By the time you get in and, you know, you just have a quick check, you know, bikes, yeah, bikes all right. It's, yeah, that's, you know, it's not changing gear properly now or whatever. Then you bugger off, go and have some sleep. Sleep. <laughs> yeah. By the time you've had 20 minutes, you can sleep. getting yeah. half hour, getting out your levers, yeah. getting the motor home, you, 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 you're buzzing still. Putting wet stuff back on as well. That's cool. Yeah, well, it was dry, luckily. It yeah. was dry, but then you're flipping. Yeah. You get your head down for 20 minutes, maybe, but you can't sleep because you can hear the bikes. And then you back up again in your levers, you know, and then you back out on the bike again. Yeah. And you're better off just not sleeping. Yeah. Open wheels has been, work, you know, when it's peeing down, you've got to put wet stuff back on, and you think, mm-hmm. I just don't want to do The worst it. time is when it is, is just before it's starting to get light the next yeah. day, yeah. because that's the longest part. You know, when you're sort of five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning, and it, four, five, six probably is the hardest point because it's still dark and it's, you know, it's starting to come around and it's getting a long way into the race now and you're like, ooh. Yeah, busy as well, picking points. Yeah, because that but light. then when it gets light again, it sort of brings you back to life a bit because yeah. it sort of wakes you up a little bit, but... God, you get absolutely knackered by the end of it. Just, to, like, mentally tired. I mean, doing like a... A 24 hours sort of Le Mans or something like that it must be difficult yeah. on a big bike yeah cool you get a little bit more rest maybe because of the straights or you know spa or something like that because it's cool. there's a few long straights but I don't know if that's a, a good thing or a bad thing I'm not too sure but <laughs> on that little bike around a cart track yeah. it's like constant <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so you might constant. be good at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Up and down about thirty yeah. gears a lap. Yeah. Like. <laughs> so I'm over this now. <laughs> Leave right. it on the limiter. Yeah, right. One at a time. Favorite best circuit, and best corner, favorite corner. We asked everybody, even the mini JCW toys. This is a this is a thing that we ask everybody when we when we do stuff. Cadwell is my favorite track. Corner. I mean, obviously, it doesn't have to be a No. Cat, See, I quite like Snetterton first corner because yeah. it's long and swooping because it's got that double apex in it. But yeah, Cadwell, definitely the track. Uh, Donington, <laughs> Crony Curves. Yeah. Because it's just... It's yeah. pretty, Out of it's, control. It's pretty, it's pretty ballsy yeah. and that's yeah. where I can make a lot of my time up. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's with the steering wheel, if the end broke away, you, you, if you turned into it too much, that was it, you were gone. You just turn it just a little bit. It was just a... Trying into us. That, not that. <laughs> <laughs> Brian? Um, I'm going to go Assen. Um, 
just as you come into the last sector, fast right. It's like after you go around a double right, and then it's fifth gear flat through that through that fast mm. kink before then you come into that last complex. It's just like the most unbelievable corner. Absolutely. Last in fifth year. No, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're sideways as well. <laughs> and the, the bite. <laughs> but I'd say UK, I don't know. Uh, Hawthorns is amazing. I love Hawthorns. It's such a great corner. Nice. Yeah. But it's one of them that sort of just takes your breath a little bit because you're like, there's no way I can go into this this quick. Yeah, and then it, how quick you can yeah. found it. That's the beauty. And then Cadwell Mountain. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, you are It's not a that. corner, but it's kind of a corner. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> Favourite bike? Ooh. That's tough. Yeah. For for racing or for road? Uh, we do we do both because actually we've got to talk about talk to Ron about oh. as well. Don't, don't we? leak yeah. it. Don't leak it. I'm allowed to tell it. Yeah. <laughs> All round bike. I really like the street. Yeah. The street triple. I've got a 2008 that Ian custom built for me. I love riding that. Obviously, we've got the 2020. Two, three, yeah. um, that we're doing the endurance on. Again, it's a lovely bike to ride on track and yeah, I like that. on road. Mm. But if it was road bike, it'd have to be my BMW S1000R. Mm. <coughs> yeah, I want the engine out of that. Not sticking a chance. A, sticking, <laughs> a, sticking, a, sticking a nice low at seven. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, for me, um, I I love the R1 uh, Paul Mal just on the track day there mm. because... It, it suited me and I could adapt to it but I can't ride it hard for a long time because they take a lot of work and you got to be uh, slightly younger and a lot fitter than me <laughs> to, to ride it but I really like that but for outright racing really for me it's probably the 765 because it's a street version and it fits me more than I fit it nowadays yeah. so because I'm obviously nearly 50 um, I just don't <laughs> bed I just don't bend as, <laughs> bend as well really and for road varies depending on my mood yes yeah. you know, I love anything from a Fruxton to a Bobber to me XR <laughs> you know, it's just, there's a range of bikes depending on how I feel and we're lucky enough that we can come into this beautiful shop and go and today I feel oh. like Matthew <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be yeah I mean I've had Harleys and yeah I go out and I ride a yeah, Harley I do change when I ride them as well suddenly yeah, I, does, I, I slouch it. back and <laughs> my arms come out and my cigar on and like <laughs> yeah and it's just really yeah. weird how I, I change my riding style to what bike I'm on but yeah road ride I mean it really depends on how I feel but yeah probably the Triumph these days for racing yeah, I like the Triumph do yeah like we're going to probably look again into some street racing with it this year because CB's like we said uh, probably just I'm a little bit disadvantaged because we're only allowed a maximum of 52 horsepower and I know mine's somewhere around the 48 and uh like I said, you know, I've got a lot of timber for that poor old bike. Is there a lot you could do with it, that engine or not? You can, but you're not allowed. All oh, right. Yeah, so if they, if, they, if they let you work on it... Bit of a chance, really, that yeah. it's 52 or not. I mean, yeah. surely they could make the rig, so if you're over a certain weight, you can do this. <laughs> <laughs> Go to how the gym. Are, how, are, yeah, how are they going to control <laughs> that? Yeah, yeah. Go, you've yeah. come in here contesting that yeah. with a burger. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, used to, I used to find out, you used to drive your skin out of it, you'd be sweating, you'd be pouring off, you'd think, bloody hell, come on in. And you're still sort of like... Oh, a second down and there's this little old thing he's just <laughs> for a Sunday afternoon drive and he's just blitzed it now it's your turn now Ryan now we understand that you've been riding super bikes and everything else and you haven't had a road licence <laughs> <laughs> and you've just done it I know yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, have you, who have you done it with Wow. Is there a company you've done it with? Yes. Yeah. Like, quite good, I think. One to one motorbikes or anything. <laughs> no, to be fair, it's been it's been great. Like I mean it's quite funny that I've been riding a two hundred and thirty horsepower superbike for five years now. And I've been it's not that uncommon, I don't think. No, 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 it isn't it? No, it's not. Quite a lot of the lads don't do it and some of them are completely not interested in doing it and and some of them just yeah, they just never never get round to it really. But yeah, it's something that I've wanted to do for ages. My dad's always been into road bikes and stuff like that. And, you know, I want to get a bike on the road eventually. And and it's definitely something I want to do. And it, it's something I've just got access to as well now. It's, it's done, you know. That's the thing. It, it's so handy to have. Um, but, yeah, doing it with these guys has been, been amazing. So now I can ask you the question that I asked these two. Your favourite 
race bike. It's obviously Yamaha, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it genuinely is, though. <laughs> <laughs> but it actually is. <laughs> you, could, you could ask that without even me talking. You just look at the results so you can tell what's yeah. mo- the most enjoyable. Um, uh, a road bike. What road bike are you going to go for, you think? Um, I don't know, to be fair. I mean, it, it's difficult. I mean, I'd like a, like a Harley or something. I, I would like something a bit more Tory, you know. Yeah. And if I was to get some kind of sports bike on the road, like an MT-10 or something like that, it'd be nice, a bit more upright. Like, you know, not... I don't, I, I don't want an R1 on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Because I know what it'll end up being. I rode a rode a road bike R1 out of the shop at Mallory, and within half a lap, I got my knee down both sides. <laughs> within the end of the second lap, on my elbow on road tires, like as it comes from the showroom, <laughs> and that just tells me I'm like, oh yeah, definitely shouldn't have an R1 on the road because they are capable of getting a lot of lean angle and going very quick and it, it wouldn't take me long get a few S-bends and uh, you know on the country road and I'd be like oh, I'm building into it getting a bit of temperature in the tyres now before you know it oh, knees will be down <laughs> hit a flipping tractor's dirty patch or something and that'll be it you'll be in the hedge I want something that I can cruise on and I can't go fast on yeah. so something like a Harley side so that kind of Put thing you know. on your face yeah just chill I'll go for a nice summer's day That's ride though, isn't it you know the, the road ride inside of things is for pleasure riding yeah. We drive because we have to drive. Yeah. We ride because we want to ride. Yeah. We want to go fast. That's where we go to track. Yeah, I mean, it? on the yeah. track, you, everyone's going in the same direction. Mm-hmm. You've got ambulances Most and fire engines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so it, it's a different... On the road, you've got other people, and, and yeah. I think the driving Plenty standards are worse now than they ever have been. Oh, they're a lot worse. Yeah, there's a lot more things going on. Yeah. Uh, like... People are just away with the fairies, and that's yeah. the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Not well, concentrating at all. No, they're, they're relying on their cars to drive half the time. For yeah. The way, and that's mm. why they do, isn't yeah. it? You know, but that's why riding should be about pleasure, isn't it? You know, you have nothing to prove on the road apart from all you want to do is go to the coast and uh, get yeah. fish and chips. Get know? fish and chips, go go back, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. beers. <laughs> I need a yeah. couple, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Five and drive, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might want to edit that bit. <laughs> yeah, well, go to the, uh, go to the coast. Someone yeah. said to Ryan. <laughs> it's only it's only something that I've been told. I've never never dreamed of it, but. <laughs> so, how did you find the training? Was he? Yeah, how did, you, how did you? How did you? Why? Yeah, the, the booking system was beautiful, but yeah. the, the instructor, well, yeah, when I turned up, I thought, oh my god, what am I in for? <laughs> did you didn't know Mr. C before, did you know? No, no, no. literally, yeah, that's it. Really, I into my, his dad. Yeah, my dad. Yeah, yeah, yep. and that was it. And that's the dad's favourite. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it actually is. Yeah. <laughs> that's where he came over, and you know. It turns out Rachel and I are big, big bike fans and stuff like that. So it's um, that sort of helped. And it? yeah, and then my dad said, "Oh, yeah, for some race to British Super Bikes." And she's like, "Oh, who?" And then she obviously knew me and da da da. And she goes she's from there. Had a selfie with me before. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I had it. Snerton. <laughs> it's crazy. It always uh, how it all comes around in a big circle. And then yeah, before you know it, it's um, getting the bike test in and stuff. And did the uh, mod. I can't remember. Then, mod two, mod mod one. one, then mod two. Yeah, mod one, mod one, mod two. <laughs> um, and yeah, managed to pass. It all first time, so, so it's good. One of the school bots. Yeah, yeah. So the Yamaha obviously was Obviously's out on, <laughs> and um, we uh, yeah the MT07. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it. So no, they produced a, a re- provided a really good training plan. You know, he went for everything, and I I was always a bit like, oh, so I can ride a bike. I think so, but it was like getting that technique the way that you've got to ride again you know explaining what I've got to do you know life savers indicators da, 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 all at the right time position on the road and all of that it's easy for me to forget that because I'm so used to not checking mirror, mirrors and all of that mirrors, mirrors were a foreign object for you weren't they? Like, <laughs> exactly like, what are these things yeah, yeah 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 I was looking at myself at the start no no what are you doing actually I do look good yeah exactly I have meant to be looking from behind you oh right right <laughs> so no we went for everything and it was so good I mean I felt so comfortable going into the test um, we did pretty much the, well, it was, was the exact test really that we knew and <laughs> it was um it really helped and you know so is, it in Nor- is it is it in Norwich no it's in Bury yeah okay. so yeah. we we run all different test routes there and um sometimes for, aren't you? yeah sometimes um we, we might get lucky and he might run the exact test route so yeah we, we were lucky with that one we we got the route that uh, was desired but it wouldn't matter to be fair whether we got the route or not we try and train to the standard where it doesn't yeah. matter where you ride you should know how to ride a bike anywhere it is 
you know obviously yeah. it's a bit more helpful if you do know where you're going don't be ready for me yet <laughs> <laughs> that's not going to be easy that I'll test you <laughs> yeah so no it's good like I said Ryan actually to be fair I thought when we were speaking about it I wasn't sure how he was going to be but I'll tell you what pretty down to earth sort of guy and actually he's willing to listen yeah he seems like yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah you do you do get some people who yeah. can obviously ride a bike and I have it time and time again yeah. you know and I call them Valentino Rossi's you know because yeah. They think they know everything, yeah. you know, and they're, they're almost arrogant with it, where Ryan really... Well, they don't listen, do they? So if right. someone comes along and hasn't done it, then yeah. they listen to you. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I won't mention any names, but I'm just training one at the moment, you know, and he's, he's a YouTube... He knows everything from YouTube. Yeah. He's telling me everything that he should be. Uh, I don't uh, get it. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. So, but no. He, uh, to be fair, Ryan listened and uh, he he did everything right. He, and he definitely wouldn't leave a door open for me because yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It was it was the one thing that was like a bit. I can't help. Yeah. I'm going to let him pass. I'm going to. Well, it was, it was all to do with the lifesaver. On like, it was more the smaller roundabouts. To be fair, it was getting the right lifesaver depending on the lane and and uh, he kept reminding me he's like if you do that again I am going to come up the inside of you and he did it once and then I was like right yeah I'm going to have to start closing that door <laughs> I didn't do it again so then yeah that's how we got it in but you know we had a we had a bit of a laugh and, and I think that's good as well when you're learning you know we've got people with a lot of experience and for me it's like I'm taking everything that they've got to, to teach on on the road because it is a different style of riding and, and at the end of the day when you're riding on the road you gain a lot of experience and you come across things what people do and and I need to be made aware of that and and I was so and and that's why I even if I was to ride a bike tomorrow or whatever I'd feel comfortable because I know what I'm looking for you know and we was we was chatting about things you know I just remember that remember this you know just constant reminders with the intercoms and stuff and and it, it was great you know and that's why we passed first time really and I think anyone that would come and train with them if they was to listen to what they had to say then they'd do exactly what I've done it's not because I could ride a bike it's because I listened to the way that they trained me and 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 that's it we we passed um pretty easily so did it have any effect on your um race riding or not Uh, no I don't think so (laughs) no no, I don't know I think it might (laughs) I think it made me faster yeah yeah, please don't do life savers (laughs) well if you want to be a motorbike racer then come and get your training here because it's going to make you quicker yeah Yeah, that's it that's it who did you do your training with (laughs) exactly who did you do your training with what do you mean who was it what was was the name who was the name of the company (laughs) (laughs) who was the name of the company Huh? <laughs> I got that. Oh, you're a minute. Yeah. Let me have a look around. <laughs> no, no, brilliant. It's been absolutely brilliant. What right. an afternoon. It's, yeah, it's been good. Yeah, it's been yeah, good. Yeah, I'm happy. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, yeah, just, uh, really say good luck to Ryan. Obviously, he's uh, he's going out to Spain shortly, and um, yeah. we'll be seeing some of his merchandise that we can all buy from whatever company it is. <laughs> we will see it online, and we can all buy it. And, yeah. Uh, Support him through his uh, his race season this season. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's progressing in the right direction for you, I think, isn't it? Yeah, so, you know, we had a good season last year. Yeah. Finished, we won, won races, podiumed multiple times and run at the ra- and the, the races that we didn't get on the podium was fourth or fifth, so it was in the battle all the time and now we've got the bye, we've got a team, yeah. I've got the experience yeah. and confidence yeah. is there and now we've just got to go yeah. try and win the championship. That is the goal and that's what we're going for, so. I think you've got a bloody good chance. Yeah, we'll have a good bloody go. good chance. <laughs> I'll be yeah. shouting. Oh, oh, we know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's, he's going to hear it. I'm no, so. Yeah. Oh, God, he's there. Okay. It's a hell of a wind today. Oh, no, no, no. It's just they're shouting from Norfolk. Guy. She's got hell of Suffolk. wings today. <laughs> yeah. no, that's been brilliant. It's been absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much. All right. Right. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Good luck at Donington Donington as well. Yes, thank yeah. you. Spain. Full gas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, give us a lovely thumbs up and a lovely comment. We'd be so, so much appreciated. Just down there, like, just, just, just there. Yeah, just there. Just there. That was all right, wasn't it? You didn't do too bad that time. What time's your flight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do that bad, did you? That went well. Considering. <laughs> <laughs> Watch minis and motorbikes. It's on YouTube. There's a new G- new episode. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Take five. I don't feel quite so bad. <laughs>